see what's happening. Yeah. I, I'll get a side bet right. on which 60 cards wins. Because I'm it's the same 60. <laughs> it is the same 60, yeah. Uh, it's just going to come down to draws from either side. Unfortunately, it's going to be one of those kind of games. Yeah. So this will be an interesting match. We'll see see what happens here. We just see energy attach, both leading with Trubbish, and then an end, so we're going to draw some extra cards. Yeah, so uh, Coulter did win the flip, and he's going to go first, and that's going to be big. I mean, yeah. I guess it doesn't matter too much when Eevee can evolve in the same turn that it's played, but... Right. So we see Lele come down relevant on from Xander. He's going to go through, count some cards. Yeah, I got to see what is prized here. And like I said, Xander has got a little bit of experience on Coulter, but that doesn't, that doesn't always guarantee anything. So it's still anyone's game, especially with the same 60. Go, Garp, go. <laughs> Yep, uh, uh, this is exactly the same 60 cards. We have the list in front of us. There are no differences. None at all. Not a single difference, that's for sure. So we'll see. He gets a Lele here. I think he's probably going to see the Bridget come out of the deck again. Yeah. I don't know. If maybe we should do a poll on whether or not Espion Garb or Espion Garb is going to win. <laughs> yeah, that'd be not the most redundant poll ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. We dropped 46% of frames. Uh, I hope it stops soon. It's... Oh, I think it's going down. Oh, we're, no. Uh, it's, mm -hmm. it's thinking about being nice. Yeah, sorry about the quality right now. I, I don't think we want to end the stream. It's just the Wi-Fi is yeah, going Yeah, percentages are going, going down. It's good. Down. Uh, yeah, I think so we've not, not to back jinx back it, but we're going <laughs> we're gonna to hope that uh, this keeps going back to a better range for us. That said, um, Xander is still kind of looking through. He's, he's bridgeting. He's making sure he's pulling out exactly what he needs. Um, he's... Yeah, only able to bridge it for, for two. Looks like he has a bunch of Espeons that are, or Eevees that are prized. So. Yeah, apparently. Or, no, there was one in there. there he, there's he, one he that's already an Espeon. It. Yeah. <laughs> he probably doesn't. Well, he played that one from his hand, it looked like. Yeah, so. probably doesn't feel like he needs another Espeon. Um, just wants to set up those Garb Odors. He definitely wants to use his Lele's, use his abilities, and then try to get Garbotoxin online to stop Coulter from doing the same. Yeah, and everything is weak to everything, so... <laughs> this could be fairly quick. Yeah, I, it wouldn't surprise me if this is a quick match. It's either going to be really quick, and we're going to see a lot of weakness knockouts and a lot of quick exchanges, or it's going to be long and grindy, and we're going to see a lot of stalling and confusion. Oh no! Coulter goes, attach DCE, oh. pass. No. Or rather, attacks for, for damage, but... Attach a DCE to uh, EV, not even getting Espeon oh no. out of the deck. We're seeing we're, a we're gonna right see, now. Yeah, we're going to see Xander pull way ahead of this real quick. Yeah, this is this is brutal for Coulter. Unfortunately, dead drawing in the finals is, is a fate that is possible, and Coulter is seeing that fate firsthand. He's experiencing it right now. That's for sure. His first finals and first game just starts to brick. Yeah. Got a feel for him. But Xander's going to bring up this Espeon and just... Double knockout. Yeah. Right? No, it's not. It's, not, not it's almost double knockout. Yeah. Very, very close. <laughs> uh, yeah, not quite. We're going to take out the Espeon that way if you... Uses the divide to get yep. get that... Uh, We're going to Guzma this in. I'm going to hope that you don't... That's just, just a stalling so tactic. There's nothing else he can do. Yeah. He's got two more DCE in hand, and this you put the choice band on an attack for more. <sighs> yeah, no, not 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 today. Oh, and the DCE. attack retreat, and oh that's gonna be game gosh. one. Wow, what a quick game! So disappointing. Oh, brutal. I feel so bad. Yeah, that's not what you want to see. So that's gonna be a quick game one for Xander. I didn't even get to keep track of the prizes. It was it just over. It was over. Yeah, no, no need. So Coulter wants to shuffle his deck really thoroughly here. He like, does not want that to happen again. You can't afford for that to happen twice. It happens once, you're like, okay, I can come back in two games. Obviously, it happens yes. twice, and then you're done. Yeah. It, That's it. Coulter says, all right, this needs to happen at least once to Xander, and then we need to play one real game. Yeah, I know. Just to make it even. Uh, just to make it even. Yeah, it feels so bad bricking. We've all been there. We've all bricked. It has happened. Definitely. Hopefully we have a more exciting finals and we don't just see a repeat of that game. But well, we do have a lot of time. Mm. Quickest game one we've yeah. seen Quick all Quick game one. Weekend. Coulter never drew a supporter. 
He didn't draw any psychic energy to evolve the Espeon to try to even do anything. And two attacks, and that's all she wrote. Yeah. Very, very quick. <clears throat> Both of these players, I think, are recently aged up into Masters. I think this might be Xander's second season in Masters, second or third. Um, yeah. I'm not too sure about Coulter, but definitely both very young players have a great start to their careers right now, and they have a lot of tournaments ahead of them. Yeah. We they're, they're not probably, planning on stopping anytime soon. We're probably going to see them over and over again. Definitely going to see them in the future. Good plays, smart medical. Yep. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, still setting up here, and Coulter's gonna go first. I'm not sure what they're discussing here. All right, probably just who's going first. Uh, okay, and they got a handshake there. I was like, there's no way, that's not a concession. Okay, just a friendly handshake. Whatever happens, happens. No hard feelings between the two, I'm sure. But Coulter definitely has a way better start. Here, here's a Bridget out of hand, so that's... Right off the bat, that's much, much better. <laughs> Alright, so he's gonna take his time and search his deck here because he wants to make this the best played game of Pokémon in his career so far. A lot of pressure to win this game, too. Just gonna check and check and check. can't really see really what's going on there, but I see one Trubbish that he's picked out. I see a Garbodor. Another Garbodor. Ooh, do I, are there any more Trubbish? I see, there's just that one? There's gotta be more. Oh, there it is. There it is, and two Trubbish and an Eevee. Definitely very solid. And shuffling that deck back up. Not sure if he has an energy in hand to search out the Espeon. Uh, looks like so he does. He does have that psychic, so he might be going back in the deck. All of these trubbish. Lots of trash. <laughs> All the trash. All the trash. Taking it out. Where's the garbage man when you need it? And Parallel City is pretty big here because each of them only play two Parallel City. They don't play any other stadium. So they do run field blowers. They, so they do. can field blower it and then immediately play another Parallel City if they would like. Right. Uh, if Xander doesn't use the field blower on the stadium, it's, it's making it so he has two dead cards. Yeah. And also, I feel like field they so want to field like. blower the tools, yeah. uh, like the flowstones and the choice bands. It's one of those things that you have the option, like sometimes, where you draw the first field blower and they might only have one tool down, and you want to take that that opportunity, or when you have your parallel facility already in hand, you take the opportunity to try to lock down their bench space to just, because they never want to do it back. Exactly, and that also like limits his ability to bridge it turn one, uh, so he decides to go with the Cynthia. Wow, two double colorless and a psychic. He's got a lot of energy in that hand. A lot of energy. Luckily he didn't really need to bridge it because he has two Trubbish, but getting yes. an Eevee online, getting an Espeon attack would have been good. <laughs> we see the Trubbish is attacking a lot this match. Is that oh, a... It's an yeah. Acid Spray? Acid Spray, I was going to say. It's uh, an energy discard if you flip heads, right? It might be. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what Trubbish they're using. So okay. uh, it up. is the Breakpoint Trubbish for both Maybe. players. Yeah, Acid Spray. It does discard an energy. Yeah. 10 damage, but he didn't flip heads on that one, and weakness is going to make it do 20, of course. Yeah. It's a good attack on that little on that little trash bag. All one of those things you never really want to be doing, but if you have to, there it is. And the other option is, I think, the garbage collection trubbish, unless that's only an expanded, I mean... Yep. <laughs> Tool drop. Mm. Tool drop is expanded. Yeah, garbage collection is still legal. Though. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, garbage collection is the other option. But both attacks are pretty good. Yes. Acid Spray can be really good in this format, though, so I like the fact that they went with all Acid Spray Trubbishes. Hitting for weakness on a lot of things, just 20 damage is a lot, and if you happen to hit heads, if you're in that desperation mode, that's a great stall tactic. Yes. It can be very useful. It can be good in the early game, as we just saw Xander go yeah. for it here to try to cripple your opponent's setup. You're going to see an Acid game. Spray back, just nothing for Poulter either. Oh, oh these goodness. games. And the tails. <laughs> wow. Well, look at these high-tier players. <laughs> Battling each other with tiny trubbishes. Oh, man. <laughs> the finals. What does Pokemon come to? 
We got a Guzma getting that Tauros up in the yeah, air. Garbage collection is also expanded. So it rotated out with the last <laughs> rotation. Oh, thanks, chat. Thanks, chat. Expanded commentator here. I should have had a list where I said, uh, look, these cards. These cards, expanded. these cards, don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we, we see an end on Coulter's side. He doesn't really want to Colt. He doesn't want to. Yeah, so Acid Spray, definitely the best Trubbish in standard right now. Pokemon loves Trubbish and Garbodor. Yeah. They're always so good. It's another card out besides N that has been around for a long time. It just feels like it's never going to rotate out. And I think it's funny. I love how they choose these, like, funny, like, offbeat Pokemon to be good. Like, yes. girl, he's a big sack of trash. He's literally and trash. Someone at TPC, I decided, like, this is what, we're going to make him a star. Yeah, he has to be the best card in the format. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. I love it. All right. So we see what's happening here. I think he just played an N. Yep. Uh, get a new hand for both players. Maybe we can, th this game will turn around to a real game of Pokemon. So far, it's definitely it's been <laughs> back and forth. It's been back and forth with a whole lot of nothing from both sides. Definitely. I mean, that's better than, than a blowout by one side or the yes, other. Yes, that so is true. Here we have Garbotoxin. Yep, Garbotoxin is online. Not that either side really cares. Shutting yeah, off uh, Lele's. Lele, 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 and Ooh, a heads. Ooh, heads. Wow, that was That's, a big discard. That was a big discard. Yeah, that was We see great. 40 due to the choice band. <laughs> but putting damage counters on Tauros isn't, like, the best idea. No, no, it's not. <laughs> but it's very clutch that he discarded that DC. Yep. So we see an Ultra Ball. Looks like he's going to get a Trash Valanche. Yeah, the first Garbotoxin is kind of important. Yeah. Was if you get the Garbotoxin off early, before your opponent has had the chance to play the very few things, the three Lele's in this matchup that have an ability. Right, so Coulter's already gotten some use out of abilities from Lele, but that means that without a field blower, uh, EV Espeon isn't coming out with energy evolution this turn. Taking a lot of time on this search, really critical decision on what his next move is going to be because it's going to set the tone for the entire game what he does with this turn. Yes. Often it turns three and four end up being like really critical throughout the whole game. Like he played the Garbatox in there because that's what he had. He drew it and it lets him shut it off. Like we said, the Lele's. Um, he has another Trubbish to play the Trash Lanch. Garbodor. Once he eventually finds one, but he's he's sitting there trying to find one. Oh, he's got a Floatstone for Tauros, Choice Man for the Trash Lanch, and a six Xander card. is way back in this game, all of a sudden. And he's got, now he has his own Garbotoxin, but. No reason to play it, it doesn't <laughs> no do anything. Reason. He definitely wants to save that Trubbish for another trash Lanch at this point. Yeah. That is the thing about your opponent playing down the first Garbotoxin. That means that you don't have to. Yep. And opens up that Trubbish to become a trash Lanch attacker. Also has Drev on hand, so he's definitely going to bench that with the energy. Now it only needs a DCE attachment to start swinging. It hits hard. It does. Mm -hmm. He's like, my how, how many, many have? Just one? Wow. That's not a <laughs> not enough. Oh no, he starts to take the prize and then realizes it's actually 10 yeah. off. Col that Coulter says, has wait, 70. wait, 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 wait. That's not a knockout. 70 HP on that Trubbish. Trubbish. 70 HP Trubbish OP. <laughs> Confirmed. Definitely. It is, though. It is. 70. That extra 10 health is just so it's important huge. in so many ways against Buzzwool, um, you know, yep. here. <laughs> <laughs> there are definitely other ways. It definitely matters. Yeah, he's sitting there like he has this Ultra Ball. He's like, do I actually want an Ultra Ball though? Because I don't want to put more things in because yeah. then it hits. Each, each item I discard is 20 more damage on like every single one of my Pokemon because everything is weak to Psychic. Yes, that's for sure. So if he can avoid it, he doesn't want to play any more items right now. He's in a good spot. He's got a pretty good board set up here with 
Only one item in the discard. Why he says, put, why this one more? can go down. I'm going to try to hit your energy. Yeah, it doesn't, get a, it doesn't get a successful flip this time. Yeah. So Acid Still Spray. not a super exciting turn by Coulter. But I think it's enough. It's it's enough. Xander's taking one prize, but he's not in a severe lead right now. Although I think Coulter would like to get something else going besides these trash lanch and this <laughs> Lele. He might want, he wants an Espeon or his own Drampa even. Yeah. But Tauros can come back in Mad Bull. I think we're in the red and dropping frames again, so sorry about that, guys. We're not going to restart the stream if we don't have to again, since we've already had so many restarts. Yeah. We want to try to we're push through. We're just going to power through it. want to push through Hopefully this final game. Kim Engine Center Wi Fi picks up a little bit and we, we go back onto the. So apologies side for of the drop frames. <laughs> we're doing what we can. Got an energy attachment. I think with this deck, it's pretty crucial to attach energy every turn. Yes, absolutely. You, you don't want to miss an attachment because then you're going to fall behind, especially in the mirror. And Colder picks up the trash avalanche. Plays his own end. Yeah, ending Xander to four. He gets six still. Has not taken a prize. Those ends to low amounts of cards in this matchup feels huge, though, because you don't have any sort of card advantage. You don't have Octillery. You don't have Zorar. Yeah, it's pretty much just dependent on uh, what you draw off end, that's what you get. Yep. That's what you have to work with. So the strength of this deck is not through just kind of drawing or powerhousing or attacking. It's through slow delivery. <laughs> Intercom, why? Oh God. Okay. Right. Announcement over. So, yeah, basically, uh, what was I even saying? I was saying that this deck relies on... The ends are just natural drawing, what yeah, you get off end. Yeah, natural drawing. It relies on not kind of like going all in on One like thing, an aggressive but... strategy, but it's more of like slow, deliberate, uh, trying to outplay your opponent. Yes. I think that this deck has a pretty high skill cap compared to a lot of decks that we see nowadays. Oh, I agree with that. At this tournament. Absolutely. And not that other decks don't require skill. It's just uh, this one requires just really a deliberate lot of planning skill. ahead. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to have to have a specific plan, and you're also going to have to be able to adapt. Yep. And yes, this is a full 60-card 60 60 card mirror. They're playing the exact same 60 cards. So they're... <laughs> they know, obviously, they know every single card in each other's list and exactly what to play around, exactly all the counts they're yep. well familiar with. Uh, you Having see they're both passing discards back and forth and just like, all right, so you have exactly this many, this many, this many, this many of these things left. Yeah, so this is a very calculated game, actually. Okay. Neither player is guessing at all. They, they know. So every move is... Very deliberate. ...specifically designed. He says, Lele's gonna, gonna knock out that... That Garbador... <laughs> Coulter taking his first prize of the match. Yeah. In the middle of game two. And leaving Xander with kind of an empty board here. Yeah. I mean, he has his Tauros with 40 damage, and yeah. he has his Drampa, so he does have the DCE, and this Drampa's ready to go. Yes. Yeah, he needs a choice ban now. Grandpa. Choice ban. Okay. Yeah, because Berserk does 80, and if your bench has any damage counters, it does 70 more damage. Yep. And with Choice Band. So if he hits a Choice Band, he's gonna be able oh, this Drampa is. is able to take this knockout, and sure enough, there it is. Nice, clean numbers. Yeah, it's, it's not super often that you see Drampa take a one-hit knockout like this, but when it does happen, it's just so good. Very important. Because it has no drawback. Uh, he doesn't have to discard any energy. He can do it again next turn. And yeah, all he needs is that damage on the bench. Yeah, now Coulter's really on his back, back foot, where he has to figure out a way to, to not deal with his Drampa. And then be kind of afraid of that Tauros as well, like... Yeah, Tauros is definitely... It has damage on it, so... Right, so the GX attack, I mean, it's not doing It's a not a right ton now. at four. <laughs> if any more damage gets on that, that Tauros, though, it all of a sudden it, it one-shots everything. Yeah. yeah, Mad Bull is quite a powerful yeah. GX attack. 
Luckily for Coulter, there is a float stone on it, so he doesn't have to worry about weird choice band being able to get good numbers on it. What what numbers he has, that's what it is. Nothing out of hand is gonna gonna get him. It looks rough for Coulter right now. Uh, I don't think he can do anything about this trampa. I don't think that there is enough items in the discard in order for him to take a knockout with Trash Lanch. Oh man. And he's a float stone. Does he have an end in hand? He has a. He can't. We can't Lele because Gar oh no, Garbotoxin is active. He can't Lele, so he has two cards. Don't think there's a support. He's gonna bench it, but was oh, that a Sycamore? Sycamore. Okay, cool. Yeah, he's gonna bench it. Says I know I can't. Can't wonder tag. I can't wonder tag, but I'm okay just using this as a DCE attacker. Yeah, it's all he's got right now, really. But he can't really promote it. Yep. He might want a field board, get rid of that tool. Getting rid of the choice band would be good. I think you force you, you don't want to get rid of the float stone almost on the Tauros. Oh boy. It looks like it might be the end of the game for Coulter. There's a couple things he can do, but uh, not much. Not looking good. Not much. Let's see, he didn't get an energy. He has a, the Devolve Espeon, but that's not doing him any good here. I mean, the, worst, the thing he can do, he has to get rid that's of the Choice Band. That's a EX. They don't run a... Uh, that's a GX. Oh, that's the GX. That is the GX. Yeah, he just natural drew it. Thank you very much. Doesn't run Devolve. Doesn't run that one. Oh, well, sometimes they do in, in these yeah. lists, but neither of these players are running the Devolve, so that's just your Espeon GX. Yeah, they say Extra We don't need it. <laughs> uh, if they did run the Devolve Espeon, that might be interesting with the, all the Trubbishes and Garboders, but... And yeah, so he just gets rid of the Choice Band and has to hope here that Xander doesn't have like a Guzma and another Choice Band. Yeah. Luckily, he can't Lele for the. Nope. He would have to just Guzma. have that. Has to just naturally have it. It doesn't look like he does. Let's see a field blower come from him. So yeah, he can field blower. Uh, turn off the Garbatoxin, Ultra Ball for Lele. Grab Guzma. He should have everything. Guzma. Does he have a Choice Band? Uh, no, he doesn't have the Choice Band. So he's just he short. Might, can he Mad Bull GX? Mm. Exactly how much damage is Toros really doing good. there? Like so it has four damage counters on it. And four no, counters. 30 times each. It's only 120, so also not doing it yet. Yeah. Very not close. Quite. He looks grumpy. Just so close, yet so far. Yeah. He might just say, you know what? We don't know how many items are in Coulter's discard. Knocking either. down this trash avalanche is okay for me. Because at that point, if I knock this out, anything you promote that's not the Lele will let me one shot it with the, the Tauros Mad Bull. And then if you do promote the Lele, I have Ultra Ball for Guzma. So. Yeah, so I definitely think it's Xander's game right now. This is going to take the prize here. Go down to one. It's okay. He's so far ahead on prizes that it's it's fine if Coulter takes two. It obviously yeah. doesn't affect the game in the slightest. We yeah, might we're going to see, see this Espeon come out. Almost guaranteed. Definitely. And again, Xander's going to have to find some way to take the last knockout. Because he won't be able to do it on this Espeon. Yeah, the way Coulter might be able to get out of this is, is if he can play the Espeon and then somehow N. N Xander down to one. Draw the energies he needs for a knockout. Like, he needs a lot of moving pieces here, but if he can N him down to one and try to get a knockout on the Drampa somehow. Yeah, he's going to super odd back some stuff. Doesn't want to give up. Doesn't want to give up. The finals of Portland Regionals. You can't scoop. Nope. I'm not, not even if you're my Any friend, chance. I'm not just picking up my cards. We're, we're playing it all the way out. Any chance to win. I want that win. He's going to take it. So puts a Lele and a Psychic back in the deck. Maybe you're looking for another Psychic. Not sure if there's another one in the discard. If not, kind of choosing the next ideal target. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We're just going to get our couple of energies. He wants to make sure he hits one. I mean, worst comes to worst, he could Acid Spray. <laughs> No, I don't think that's. That's really not there. an option, though. <laughs> not an option. Just kind of looking for all the angles that yeah. Coulter could possibly go for at this point in time. Yeah, but 
it definitely needs to end. Not sure how many items are in the discard. So not sure if Xander would be able to knock out the Espeon with the Trash yeah. Lanch. But Coulter's been pretty conservative about playing his items so far, so. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised there's not too many in there. He did Sycamore at one point, so it's hard to say how many items were in that hand. <laughs> Yeah, neither players have the, the item counter up. Yeah. Oh, but there's a lot. Okay, I see. There's a lot in yeah, there. Yeah, okay, I see. Now there might be. Way more than we were thinking. Might be a lot in there, yeah, more than we were thinking for sure. Because I saw an Ultra Ball and a Float Stone and a bunch of other things. Yeah, he's got an Ultra Ball. Uh, maybe for a Lele into an end. Like, I think that has to be his line, right? Because oh, he's, used both, he's used both Lele's, I think. No, okay, no, he still okay, has one left. Is. Okay. They run three. He did use both. Yeah. There's a the third one. Yeah. yeah. They both run three. There's a trash garb. I mean, if there are enough items to knock out, even if he gets an Espeon, I'm not sure. I'm not sure the game plan here. Because taking the knockout with his own trash lunch garb is definitely not going to do the trick. Which support do you just play? We've got a Sycamore. Five, six. It's a, a Cynthia. Cynthia. Yeah, Cap. he just played a Cynthia. And got a DCE. Could go with the Lele. Okay. <laughs> Tosses the Lele up. Takes the Drampa. Counting the items. Yep. Pretty sure this is it for Xander. Do you mind if I... Do you, is it okay if I organize your discard so I can put all <laughs> the items at the top? Yep, go for it. That was the discussion that was just had. That was a lot. And let's see Xander close out the game here. He's got the Guzma. Guzma, and then they're picking up their cards. And yeah, okay, that works. Any prize works. That is the